Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will download temperature, precipitation and humidity data from 1981 to 2022. Before we begin, please subscribe to the channel and like and share the video as well. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, launch a browser and look for NASA Power Data. And then click on this link and this window will appear inside choose a user community there are three options renewable energy sustainable buildings and agroclimatology among these i will go with renewable energy inside temporal average i will go with monthly and annual now for location of your choice either manually enter the coordinate in degree decimal format or click here and pan the map to find your location okay allow me to navigate to my destination so now here after fixing the location select any time extent between 1981 to 2021 for me i will go for 2000 to 2021 time range it depends upon your need okay I will choose CSV as the file type so that I can open the data in Excel and I may use it in GIS software as well now choose the parameter you want to download for humidity click here and select among specific humidity and relative humidity at 2 meters I will stick with relative humidity at 2 meters I will use precipitation average for precipitation and for temperature you can click here to get the desired data for now i will choose temperature in 2 meter range so after the selection of the necessary parameters when you click on submit this window will appear and you can download the file by clicking on csv okay so friend you can see the downloaded data over here Let's open the CSP file and here you can see the data between 2000 and 2021 of relative humidity, precipitation average and temperature at 2 meter range. Here RH2M stands for relative humidity. T2M range stands for temperature at 2 meter range. And the third one stands for precipitation corrected. So friend here you can see January to December monthly data also. Here this column shows the average annual data. So now for graphical representation first separate these three data in different sheets. First copy the data for relative humidity only and add the sheet. Rename the sheet with relative humidity and paste it here okay for temperature make another sheet follow the step and don't forget to copy the heading
follow the same step for precipitation as well. So after you make the separate sheets, let's give a graphical representation of these parameters. First, for precipitation, delete the year here. Now select this data for the chart. And then go to insert, click over here and select this one. So finally, here you can see the demonstration of the data. You can increase the size if you want. Okay, so similarly you can make the graphical representation or the chart for temperature and humidity as well, repeating the same steps. Okay, so friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and share the video, subscribe the channel. Have a good time, happy learning.